In this video, what I want to do is I want to formulate a linear programming problem that will find me the longest path from S to T. Now, the reason as to why I've put CPA, so for critical path analysis up there, is because uh, when you're doing CPA and you want to find the critical path through your network, then that is essentially finding the longest path through the network. Because it's finding the longest path because you've got to allow for all the jobs to be completed before you can get to the end. So actually, finding the longest path and CPA are synonymous. So you can actually um, program um, an LP solver for CPA using the longest path. There is an alternative that we'll look at later as well. Okay. Now, what I've got here is my answer to when we did this same problem, but find the shortest path. So we worked with the same network a few videos ago, and this was my LP solver that found me, found me the shortest path. Okay. Now, if I want to find the longest path, then your gut instinct might be, well, I'll just change minimize to maximize. There, done, surely. Okay, now what you want, might want to do is pause the video now and have a think about uh, why that hasn't solved the problem. Okay, what problem do you think there is? So you might want to pause it now, have a little think. Okay, so uh, where is the problem? Well, if I wanted to find the longest path from S to T, okay, if you were clever about it, you might go, okay, I'm going to go S to A, then A to B, then B to A, then A to B, then B to A, and da, 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 but back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, as many times as I like, and uh, then maybe go B to T. Okay, but if I wanted the longest path, then I could just keep repeating A, B, and B, A over and over and over again. Because there's nothing stopping me going from S to A, but there is something stopping me from going back to from A to S, because I have not included A, S in my objective function, and it's not in the constraints either. So I can't go back along there, I can't go back along there, I can't go from T to A, I can't go from T to B. But I can go from A to B, and I can go from B to A, and I can keep repeating that. Now you might be going, oh, well, surely these are indicator variables. So at worst, uh, you repeat A, B, and B, A once, because A, B, and B, A are just ones, or zeros. They're indicator variables. But if you type this into an LP solver like Lindo, where have you told it? that they are indicator variables, that they can only take on the values 1 and 0. Nowhere. OK, there's, there's nothing telling you that that is the case. So why can't A, B be 10 and B, A be 10? OK, so I could have, um, you know, I could have that equation working out fine by saying 1 plus 10, take away 10, take away 1, is 0. And then A, B, and B, A, because that satisfies that constraint, fine. Uh, it also satisfies that constraint, okay, if they're both 10, because they cancel each other out, fine. And in here, you then have 10 and 10, 2 lots of 10, 2 lots of 10. And I could do that as many times as I want. So... Lindo, or your other LP solver, doesn't know that they're indicator variables. And the consequence is that it can just repeat edges over and over and over again, back and forth, and essentially its output just goes, it, well, it just goes as far as it can and then breaks, uh, and just goes, right, can't go any further. Okay, so essentially, we need a new constraint that stops that from happening. So turning that to maximize, fine. All of this is fine, but I need one more constraint. One constraint that deals with this A, B, B, A problem. So if I have A, B plus B, A, what I want is for either both of them not to be picked, 
so both to be zero, or only one of them is picked and not the other. So I can have zero plus zero, one plus zero, or zero plus one. And so the constraint is AB plus BA is less than or equal to one, because that forces either them both to be zero, or one and zero, or zero and one. Okay, that extra constraint means that A, B, and B, A won't be repeated. And therefore, it should now give me the solution if I typed this into Lindo.